Stefania, good injury news because I admit when I hear MRI, I am sort of triggered, right? I just get fearful. MRI for Jarek McKinnon, Ford Niners running back, revealed what? Uh, we are hearing that it was a muscle strain. Nick Wagner, who covers the 49ers for us, part of NFL Nation, uh, reported that it is a calf strain. So, um, and if you're wondering, you know, they look at a knee MRI, you've got essentially three major muscle groups that cross the knee the quad in the front of the thigh, the hamstring in the back of the thigh, and then the calf. Um, and the, and the calf attaches up behind the knee. So, you know, it's hard to know how serious the injury is because we didn't get any more information other than a muscle strain. Is it a mild strain? Is it a more moderate strain? And and the difference in those would be length of time you'd expect a player to be out. Uh, with Nick Wagner's tweet, he said the team reported that he would rest all of this week, be evaluated next week. Has the suggestion that it's more on the minor side. But again, when you have an injury like this, to the guy who's expected to be your primary back or at least carry a significant amount of the work, you're probably not going to see him again in the preseason or it's going to be very limited. The other thing I would caution you on is calf strains are notoriously tricky because guys will feel great walking around and it's not till they have to put power off that leg, require some burst that all of a sudden they feel it and there can be a setback. And the last thing you want is for him to come out in week four of the preseason just to get a little run and then have it get worse, and now you've knocked him out for another month. So the problem for the 49ers is you've got Matt Breda expected to miss potentially the rest of the preseason. Yep. You've got Jarek McKinnon, who who knows if you're going to see him the rest of the preseason. I'm going to be really nervous, both as a 49ers fan and a fantasy player, about what to expect week one if we don't get to see them much. Who's left, Mike? We had Joe Williams there. Remember him? Mr. Hype from this which, time last year? Which Look, he was hurt last yeah. year. He's yeah. probably like, see? Now it's my turn. Yeah. You guys are um, maybe 20 that. touches for Kyle Use check in week yeah, one. Uzecheck, that, that would be right. fun. Uh, he's, yeah, Jeremy <laughs> yeah, McNichols is there as well. So yes. there's a couple bodies there. I think Joe Williams, not, not probably in a season long, I'm not drafting him right now. Keep him stashed in deep leagues dynasty. But uh, for now, it it sounds like, again, I, I don't want to get in trouble with Stefania again. I sound like this <laughs> guy seems okay based on what he said last week. And, and uh, that didn't prove too well. But I mean, it seems but again, like. To, to your point. Uh, just as Jarek McKinnon, the reports were when I was looking, so I'm traveling and I see Jared McKinnon went down in practice clutching his knee, mm -hmm. right? So that was McKinnon. It ends up being less severe. Guys jogs off and he's like, I'm good. Right. And it ends up being season ending. Ridiculous. And and so you, you never really know. But the, the concern, at least in, in from a fantasy perspective, uh, all due respect to the injuries, the, the thing with guys is, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. he's done for this year. With McKinnon, you don't really. And you're nervous when they start to come back. And is it going to be a recurring problem? And there's a lot more question there, even though the initial news is good news. Yeah, I think the key may here probably don't overreact right yet. You don't have to, right. you don't have to cross him off your board. If right. you were drafting today, I would take my chances on Jarek McKinnon getting healthy and being ready for week one or Matt Breida as opposed to some of these other running backs Agreed. on the roster. Definitely. Maybe they prove to be the dart throw.